everyone wants to eat healthier and sustain a better quality of life. We all know that what we put into our bodies can help determine how they work and how long they last. But maintaining a healthy diet may be easier said than done. From food allergies to rising food costs, eating well is hard to do. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. David Targan and welcome to BioBites. In the U.S., people usually get enough calories from their diets, but there are growing concerns that we eat more food than we need to, and we eat too many foods that don't contain the right nutrients. Here is where biotechnology can step in. Since the mid-1990s, farmers have used science to develop seeds that can yield more crops per acre and are resistant to environmental stresses like drought. In the near future, scientists will use biotechnology to fortify some food plants with a higher nutritional value or make them healthier choices than today's conventionally grown crops. Take your cooking oil, for example. Olive oil is considered to be a healthy choice, but it can be expensive. Biotechnology has helped to create soybeans that produce oleic acid, the main fatty acid in olive oil. This means providing a cheap and healthy source of dietary oleic acid. Scientists also are developing plant crops that are rich in health-enhancing omega-3 oils. For years, nutritionists have praised the health benefits of omega-3 acid. These acids are needed in every cell of the human body. They are necessary for early childhood growth, especially the brain and eye development. And the list of benefits goes on. Omega-3 has been reported to help combat high blood pressure or those at risk of coronary heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's, inflammatory disease, and asthma. Some health authorities have reported that the underconsumption of omega-3 fatty acids is one of the most serious deficiencies of our diet. Most health authorities suggest a minimum of 500 milligrams of these healthy oils to reduce the risk of serious disease. And even if you take dietary supplements, it may not be enough. In a major breakthrough, researchers have successfully transferred genes from omega-3 rich marine plants into an oilseed plant, resulting in new oil seeds that are high in omega-3 fatty acids. Currently, the only way you or I can consume these health enhancing fatty acids is by taking supplements or by eating fish such as tuna or salmon. By increasing the omega-3 fatty acids in land-based plants, humans don't need to rely on depleting fish stocks, and farmers will benefit by having a new crop rich in omega-3 to offer the market. So, by creating these crops, we can increase beneficial substances in our diet without people having to eat foods they don't like, can eat, or can't afford and we can help preserve our fish populations at the same time. For BioBites, I'm Dr. David Targan.